in a hole! Okay, so I'm no sports commentator. I'm not going to try to do that. Uh, can you, you can hear those guys in the background. Uh, but we're up about a minute out. And um, uh, again, if you're watching the live feed, this is what you're getting. But if you look down there at the uh, ump view, umpire view, uh, you'll see we have a late entry coming in. So Australia headed up to the high end, um, way back behind the fleet. And that's uh, Denmark uh, sliding in at the last minute 30 seconds out so uh, you can see uh, Japan uh, is really cruising through here it has on on their foils uh, coming in hot um, so just watch this as it plays out Japan gets kind of stuffed out by uh, Spain and France but then turns back down but then here comes Australia just Blasting no to in! Look at this. And there we go on the gun. Nowhere Early. to go. Penalty, so um, yes. you see the uh, penalty uh, that uh, Denmark now gets, for the boats to uh, one, and you see Sarah that Ferguson New Zealand Denmark is off uh, early and uh, leading. So uh, again, looking at the um, instrumentation here in the app. Uh, so far, the uh, leaderboard looks pretty good. Uh, we see what's happening with the uh, umpire view. Uh, they're, you know, watching um, Denmark to get them to bleed off that uh, penalty. And you can see how that works. Uh, speed, flight time, all of this as everyone is coming in uh, to this first mark. Um, New Zealand uh, controlling with Japan really pushing them. New Zealand uh, gets into... Um, the the mark first and then followed by everyone around. Now I'm going to pause this and I want to go back and look at the start and just a couple of things here in a moment. Okay, so we're going to watch uh, this start again uh, on board uh, Japan and Australia. Australia to your left, uh, Japan to your right, because uh, as you remember both of these boats are going to end up <clears throat> barging the line. Uh, Japan uh, get somewhat blocked out and Australia gets totally shut down. So here uh, on the world feed, you can see Japan starting their run, um, really making for uh, the low side of the line. Um, and then, but you know, they're, they're running 52 um, uh, kilometers per hour. Uh, Japan's coming in now at 48, 49, um, so again, both of these boats really blasting, but you can see that Japan uh, is already getting shut down. So um, Spain uh, kind of shuts them out. Um, Slingsby's coming in like a bullet, but there's just nowhere to go. So he gets uh, completely shut down. So um, you can see kind of the the speed what they're doing what they're trying the maneuvers are trying to uh pull off we're going to go back and watch from uh the back of spain uh and see how that plays out as um uh slingsby's trying to blast in there okay so here we are on board again as we're setting up for the start um we're on board with spain and so um if you watch behind uh, Robertson's boat, you're going to see both uh, Japan and Australia uh, getting blocked uh, by Robertson. Keep this in mind for when this happens between Japan um, and uh, Spain again later with um, Outridge really slamming them. So as we can see here, there's no big move uh, by Spain, but again, you see them kind of blocking uh, and slowing down uh, Japan as they move. Now, Japan had to bleed off speed, but here goes Robertson pushing uh, down to the line. And then there is Australia right behind getting blocked out again. So, um, yeah, I mean, Phil was kind of all over um, the course here, protected his position. Um, you know, Japan ended up getting by, but, um, yeah, that was a 
pretty tough maneuvering by uh, Spain uh, as these guys were barging in toward the line. So just an interesting view of what was happening behind them. Okay, so here we've gone back to, we have the umpire view um, up here, and we've gone back to the start to see exactly when uh, Denmark is going to get their penalty. So what I want you to do is watch um, the line uh, in the umpire view versus um, the overlay uh, that you're seeing on the uh, live feed, which is in the smaller viewport uh, down to the left. And what you're going to see is there. So um, you saw in the umpire view that um, at this point, uh, Denmark has already crossed the line and you saw the uh, flash uh, and red box around Denmark uh, indicating that penalty. And so in the video, they're not even over the line at that point. So let's rewind a bit and watch that. So this is what I was talking about earlier about, you know, the disparity between what the umpires are seeing. Um, but you see that data uh, already being passed, uh, the penalty, to Denmark before uh, they look to be across the line. So again, things are off, I think, just a bit in terms of uh, the graphics and the video feed. But again, when you think about what's being synced up here in terms of all the data, it's absolutely incredible. And with this video feed and everything else that we're seeing, um, you know, guys that want to whinge about this, they're just, you're, you're freaking idiots. I mean, this is amazing uh, what we're getting um, with all of this coming together in very near real time. Okay, I'm going to pause again, get us caught back up, and we'll go uh, to the next mark. Driving the Kiwi okay, so back to the racing, to uh, coming into mark one. Uh, you have New Zealand uh, getting into the box first, and uh, Japan coming around. So uh, I'm just going to jump ahead. We'll watch a little bit of this play out. Um, but again, this is the information. Um, that you get along with the racing uh, in the app. So we're going to um, watch a little bit of this play out. Uh, Spain really lousy um, uh, rounding there off the foils. Um, Denmark still having to wait for Spain uh, and bleed off uh, you know their positions until they're behind Spain. So um, anyway, it's uh, really um, playing out with just Japan, uh, followed by uh, Spain and Denmark uh, coming out uh, left and everyone else going right. So um, I'm going to jump forward now until something exciting happens, and then we'll take a look again at the data and what's happening uh, in these different moves. Okay, so what's interesting here, uh, remember uh, Japan was right behind New Zealand uh, coming around that uh, Mark 1, but you'll remember that Japan went to the left side of the course, everyone else to the right, and obviously that was a bad call by Japan. Um, so they're uh, now out. We have uh, France, New Zealand, and USA. Here is where you can start to really see how the leaderboard in the app really gets out of whack in relation to the uh, actual leaderboard in the race. So that's something that they definitely need to work on. Um, we also just saw, if you, if you saw that a moment ago, what happened with um, uh, Australia where they were dead in the water. So I want to pause here and let's go back and get on board and see what's happening with Australia um, as as we were watching that. Okay, so okay, so I currently have a setup now. Um, we've rounded that mark. You see Australia in the uh, world uh, feed down there coming around. Things seem to be going fine. I'm also we're also looking at um, France on the right side. Um, and already you can see 
the, they're having problems. So uh, Slingsby's kind of playing with uh, something down by the steering. Uh, they're down to 10 uh, kilometers an hour, slowing even more um, as uh, France is still doing, you know, 41 knots. And so obviously there's something really wrong with uh, the Australian boat. Uh, Slingsby still trying to figure uh, something out here, but they are effectively dead in the water at this point. So um, it happened pretty quickly uh, after that first mark rounding. And at this point, they're done. And uh, France continues on at 43 knots. And uh, Slingsby is uh, cursing a, a blue streak, I'm sure. So uh, that's what we saw, what happened with uh, the Australian boat. Uh, and uh, as we all know, they're out um, at this point from uh, the racing. So we'll go back and continue the race after uh, getting into this second leg and see what happens from there. All right, That's so we're we racing again. Uh, we see Australia uh, dead in the water, Goodison. as we know now. In uh, we see Japan Andrew coming in after Back having really lost so a lot in the light air three, on the left side of that two. course. Uh, but, uh, you know, the question is, is it going to flip where the boats now going out to that side of the course, um, including uh, the U.S., the Kiwis, are they going to lose ground? Uh, now, now. and back, uh, is Japan right going to be able to make up that ground with Spain and Denmark mistake, coming along? So we'll let that play out a little one. bit. So we'll get to the next kind of critical moment in the race and break that and down we as well. Okay, six. so this is where New Zealand starts to fall. Um, France obviously has overtaken them as has the U.S. Uh, just now. So let's go back and see exactly what was going on when uh, New Zealand dropped. Uh, now they're down to fourth. So um, they're really starting to suck. And let's see exactly why that sucking is starting. Is not to make another one. Okay, so, so as you can see here, uh, New Zealand uh, is in the lead at this point. They still have they kind of very poor on-boat so video, so we can't here see a lot Spanish there. Um, you see their stats, and the here is where they start stage. dropping um, from the lead. They just fell behind France, and... The race course at the moment. They're That's doing, big, big you know, as you can see here, race 44 so um, Remember, uh, place in kilometers per hour. But you can also see they're France having huge the drops the um, in their speed three, uh, in their maneuvers and um, probably shifty right winds as well. So here they've up, immediately the fallen two places. Uh, their Great Britain is starting to catch up to them as well. Now they've overtaken um, them as well. So um, you can see where you know New Zealand, it looks like they're trying to make it across the course into that better air, but they're just bleeding positions as they do that. So that appears to be uh, the biggest problem. Uh, just kind of poor tactics and light air um, and uh, really dropping down the leaderboard. Now they're bouncing back between, you know, France and New Zealand, but you also see Japan uh, is really making up a lot of ground here too, about to overtake uh, Great Britain. So again, you know, that's what's so great about Sail GP is just all these leader changes um, it's just extremely close racing, um, little mistakes cost, um, and can cost very, very quickly. So, you know, these races are never over and that's the beauty of it. So New Zealand is, um, trying to pick back up coming into second now, uh, behind the U S but yet again, that won't last. But just as importantly, you see Japan really starting to climb the board as well. So let's uh, keep moving uh, deeper into this leg, and we'll jump back with um, any other kind of interesting points and break those down as well. 
impressive, Freddie. Okay, so now what we're going to watch is uh, New Zealand and uh, their maneuver uh, across here with the U.S. Um, but as you can see, they're going way beyond the ley line before they really make the turn here. Slow turn, um, and they're really off the mark. Now, uh, you also see uh, falling off the foil, uh, so just a very poor maneuver. Um, and then you see that France has to avoid them, which really puts France um, in a bad spot in relation to the mark. So, um, you know, even though the Kiwis did a very poor maneuver, uh, they basically blocked out France. So let me pause here. And what we're going to look at now is you see this cross uh, coming up here between uh, Britain and Spain. And so I'm going to roll this back just a bit. So as that plays out, watch the, foils, the uh, umpire off. feed. Um, so they're obviously seeing this coming. They're going to zoom the into that and Andrew ensure the there's no the penalty here. So you can see how close these boats are coming. And you can so also see, the again, the kind of time offset area, between the, the data they're the running course, in real time locally versus what we're seeing on the screen. So there's always a bit of a disconnect. Um, but again, it's um, if you're watching the umpire view, you really get a, an understanding of what's going on. Now here you can see um, uh, Great Britain and Spain. Yeah, great, uh, Spain already had the position, so they're forcing Great Britain out. And again, as you can see in the umpire view, they're keeping a really close eye on that. But that gives, again, Japan um, room to really start blasting down the course. So New Zealand got lucky uh, after a really bad maneuver uh, blocking out France. They were able to um, climb up uh, one spot and block France out. Let's see if that'll last. Okay, so we're, we're, what we're watching here is USA and a pretty commanding uh, lead with the Kiwis behind them. We're about to come into um, a jibe here and as we do this, you just heard uh, Kirby yell camber camber uh, and you see the USA off the foils so so as Stevie just said a terrible job let's get back on the boat and see exactly what happened uh, with that data as well so we'll run um, the the big screen here we'll run with uh, the onboard uh, US and then we'll do uh, the world feed here. And um, let's uh, stick with uh, the US boat. There we go, they were hiding. Okay, so, so what happened? Uh, so let's roll this back a bit. You can see the US there way out in front, in front of New Zealand. And here we go, make the jibe the wing is still in the same position. So this is where they're calling for the pop, the camber, camber, but it's too late. They're already off uh, the foils. Uh, and you can see their speed um, dropped uh, pretty precipitously. Um, so they're picking back up, but they lost a lot of ground to the Kiwis, as you can see uh, in that screen. So let's go back to the racing. Okay, so the U.S. and New Zealand uh, neck and neck uh, looks like uh, pretty much the same speeds. Um, and again, here comes uh, Japan from the other side uh, of the course with uh, France uh, kind of guarding that uh, third position there. So um, again, we'll let this play out and kind of see this battle unfold between uh, the U.S. and the Kiwis. We're going to have a Simo jibe. Who is the best at jibing these boats between the U.S.A. and the Kiwis? 
Okay, so there we see uh, the jibe uh, for both the boats. Um, the U.S. boat uh, maintained a bit more speed uh, than um, the Kiwi boat. Let's see if he's making it. So protecting their position, throwing dirty air, and you can see that the U.S. has gained ground, and Japan is coming in at about seven or eight knots more speed. So now the Kiwis have basically blown it and are out of it uh, with the bad maneuvers. And now it's uh, Japan and the U.S. coming into the mark. No, no, not again as they come close together like they did in Bermuda. And you can see it was clean. Um, Right, and the, the uh, Japan does the JK, pushes um, the U.S. pretty far out of the box, giving, or, or the U.S. goes pretty far outside, um, and uh, lets uh, New Zealand catch up pretty quickly. So, you know, I'm sure it's to build speed. You know, they, they know what they're doing. I don't. But um, it really kind of makes you question, you know, some of the positioning as they're coming around these marks when Japan does a JK and look how far out in front they are. Why would you wait uh, longer uh, to make that turn? So a uh, really bold move by Outridge. Um, you can see now on the leaderboard that New Zealand is actually overtaken the USA. They're going back and forth. So again, the U.S. really lost a lot of ground with that move. Um, and you just wonder why. So let's stop and go back and get on board with the U.S. Uh, with that rounding. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, here we're coming in uh, to this mark. U.S. has a, a good lead, but uh, Japan has a really good line to that mark and a good amount of speed. So um, they hit um, the box very close to the same time. But as you see here, um, Spittles continuing out and it looks like they're slow getting across and can't uh, jibe the boat. Uh, so that's taken them really far off the line. Um, Japan pulled a JK and they're way out in front and uh, the U.S. is basically dead in the water. So um, it looks like they were just slow on a uh, moving crew, uh, getting the wing popped and everybody over and that cost them uh, the lead. And now they're pretty far behind. Uh, so uh, a really interesting move there at that mark. Uh, so we'll go and watch the rest of this leg now. So here we are back with Japan. Uh, you can see the U.S. Uh, trying to come up uh, behind them. Let's get back to follow the leader here. Uh, and again, the, they're getting back into this light wind, which is, uh, as you can see, causing them time. They're about five knots slower than the U.S. and about uh, nine knots, ten knots slower than the Kiwis. Uh, but again, both of them are about to hit the same air. So um, the Kiwis, you know, have held off uh, Britain and France pretty well um, so you know you got to give them something um, but you know really what's becoming clear is that they're only gaining on huge mistakes so um, when the US really overlaid um, that turn um, the Kiwis took advantage of it, and that's great. So now you see uh, Japan is in real trouble, uh, down to 20 knots. Um, that was a much better uh, jibe for, uh, I'm sorry, a much better tack for um, the U.S. And again, uh, looks like uh, the Kiwis are trying to get up. Uh, into the clean air. The so, you know, will that pay off? The At this Japanese point, it's becoming really the battle between the, uh, the Japan the Japan and the U.S. So, again, with the turn, the question is, who is laying the line? 
and who's going to get up on their foils and get the speed. So you've got New Zealand, Japan, and the U.S. pretty much in the same line, and you can see that uh, down in the uh, umpire view. Uh, but they're going to need attack again. So who's going to do it the best? So that's what's so great about this, again, is... is very, very close now? racing um, and just waiting for somebody to make a mistake. So what's the call the here? Uh, U.S. is going out uh, to the ley line trying to build speed. Uh, you can see them dropping down, whereas uh, Japan is trying to pinch up and get to this mark and get in front of the U.S. And then New Zealand is trying to do the same, but not holding that kind of speed. So Aldridge is making a great call here on starboard to shut down the U.S., but that's giving New Zealand an opportunity. But Spithill, look at this. He's just a freaking monster. Just blows the gap with his speed. What an incredible call. That speed build into his tack, staying on the foil, keeping it ripping. Wow. So Japan that's where, now, again, tactics, balls, all of it just He's come together, to you know, to really make this Japanese exciting Kiwi racing. Um, this is the best the race that New Zealand has had. But again, you can clearly the tell they just, the they finish. don't have it when it comes to this level of racing. So uh, the they just can't keep up with Aldridge and Spithill on this course and uh, so there you go US first um, Japan second and New Zealand uh, doing a pretty good job but again the rest of the fleet were making huge mistakes and they won't be uh, doing that again so um, keep your eye on New Zealand they are going to get uh, uh, lucky here but again you can clearly see they're having trouble uh, controlling this boat in maneuvers. So, race one, I'd say a fantastic race. Some really interesting things happening. Um, but uh, hopefully you can see with the app how you can really go in and find out um, exactly what's happening on any boat across the course uh, anytime. Five smacks for you.